Us, good morning. Um, let me talk about jumps today. Shodokan has Unsu, Kankusho, MB, etc. We have a, quite a few um, acrobatic cutters. However, if you look at karate basic training, Kihon training, it's not really accommodating to prepare for jumps. Um, so if you go back to origin, like Okinawan karate, they hardly do any jumps. So this is something that mainland, um, when Shodokan was established in mainland and it became very acrobatic. So it's more physical purpose to add some uh, pumping exercise. However, um, we are not really prepared. So it can be, unless you can do naturally very well, um, if you just repetitively do those cutters without getting a step-by-step -step preparation, you can just easily get injuries and um, then you have to be off from karate for, you know, sometimes six months and that's not really good fun. So um, a typical exercise or the introduction to, uh, for example, I have experienced when I was learning MP in, uh, when I was brown belt, etc. or Usu in a few later on, they just tell you to jump knee up high, leg up high, um, and then jump from like, static to move to 90 degrees, then move to 180, then 270, 360, etc. So gradually getting used to the spin. However, um, those are good exercise, but if you are really not used to jumping, the first thing, very first thing you have to learn is how to land. Um, the impact of your body weight plus jumping up and down, so potential energy, boom, goes to all your joints and ligaments and so if you are not uh, prepared for that you can just land wrongly and then your ankle pronates or you know foot pronates and then your goes to the knee and then the hip joint and then life is not fun anymore <laughs> so first of all you really um, have to learn how to land properly which is basically your um, ideally speaking, we want to learn land like this. So it doesn't make noise so much. If you go like that, the impact suddenly goes to this, and I can really feel it in my joints. So that practice of this total ball of the foot to the heel, it's super important. But the next thing is that you want to land in a toe pointing out in the same direction as your, oh, it's not showing my foot, your knee. If you land like this, for example, you can see that it's going to go to the, your ankle. And or if you're, you're like, that's your empty jump landing. So your knee is going that way, but however, if your foot is going that way, but your knee is going that way, that'll go through there, um, etc. So you have your body has to learn to be always in the same knee and the toe in the same direction. Some sometimes I see people landing like this, and that can go to the back of the ankle, um, or you just land bang on a heel, and that goes to the hip joint. So the first exercise I'm going to introduce today is to train your toe muscles and ankle. And then uh, I'll make another video for the knee and the hip joints so you can get all this area strong. And of course your upper torso and the head direction has to be correct so that it doesn't give you the weird impact in your body. Anyway, first what I normally do is to strengthen my toes. So I've got this elastic band with a hook. I mean, the, I just tied it. And so you can go just the toes first. You can slow it down, because that's a bit harder. And you can also add ankle to this. So it goes to all the way back, and then goes the border foot. And then toe the other way. And then 
little strength at the end. So just bring it back. So the foot gets used to this action. And you do the same thing with the next toe. So just toe first. If you can just do the second toe on its own, you're genius. <laughs> and then ankle, etc. So you do that to every single toes. Then you have a lot better strength and coordination of the foot. And then you want to also, um, if you have strengthen ankle, so then you just get rid of the toes and just move that. And you want to strengthen this angle, which is for yokogeri kekomi. And you can also do this action. You can do all sorts of angles you can just really think of. And then rotation, rotation. It's very important, I, I forgot to say, that you stretch and warm up your ankle first. So you've got a mobility before you start this exercise and afterwards as well. And another um, tools I use, which... Um, is a little ball like this so you get you grab the ball like you do with the hand and then straighten which is hard you feel like dropping it and up down up down up down and you can rotate your ankle you can add knee to it you can add hip movement as well so that you can still have the grip and a control of the tall while legs doing a lot of other things. So you, then ideally speaking, if you can use your foot, like you can use your fingers and hands, that would be awesome. Um, like Bushman. <laughs> so, that kind of thing. And just keep that. So then it, it gives you that strong grip for the this is also quick arch up for the neck washi dashi as well. So if you have that strength to land on the ball of the foot, which is awesome to have. Uh, another exercise you can do, which uh, I learned from ballet people, is that you get a towel or something soft, so it can be, and then you make the, well, I've got a carpet right now, so it's got too much friction to pull it very well but you can make a curve and bring it and bring it towards you or just grab it so when the carpet is there and it doesn't you can't really move the towel very well grab it with your toes and pull on the side then actually you really strengthen this part of your foot so not an expert on it but you can grab it like this or you can grab it under all the toes and then try to pull it on the side and then you really feel the core engagement with the foot movement and then also if you have a slippery floor then you can bring the towel towards you with this action which I do at the dojo with Zoki which is a cleaning cloth um, at, uh, at my uh, karate club so those are the ideas to train your ankle and your foot and that really gives a different sensation in landing um, and also safer safer even when you're moving this kind of thing if you have a strong ankle a tiny bit of this and that won't give you an injury but it and particularly on a competition mat it's quite soft um, so you might feel a bit bit of ache but if you don't have the strength and you don't have the agility uh, that's off and it's very uncomfortable injury so yeah that's the first step for the jump follows on us